So I've always wanted to make a video to try and explain QNet to you guys. Basically, it is a self-emissive display technology that is being developed by Samsung Display. But last night, out of curiosity, I went onto the European Union Intellectual Property Office website and searched through the database to see who owns the trademark for QNet. And it turned out that it is Samsung's arch rival in Korea, LG Electronics, who has actually filed an application for the trademark. What? Let's dive in. Hello everyone, Vincent Thiel from HTTV Test here. And let's jump straight in to the European Union Intellectual Property Office website here. And you can clearly see that when I search for QNET, which stands for Quantum Nano Emitting Diode, the trademark has been applied for by LG Electronics on either the 8th of September or the 9th of August. I don't know which is which, depending on the date format on this website. But from the off, I think QNET has been the brainchild of Samsung Display. Uh, let's start from the beginning and let me explain the structure of QNET. So I'm going to again try and use my Samsung Note 10 Plus to illustrate what I'm actually saying. So remember maybe last week or maybe the week before I tried to explain to you the structure of QD OLED which is quantum dot based OLED that is being developed by Samsung Display. And the structure of QNET is very similar. But let's recap using this Samsung Note 10 Plus where I'm going to draw out the structure of the QD OLED in the first place. So with QD OLED, you have a three stack system of blue OLED that is emitting blue light. And then you have red and green quantum dot converter, which is going to convert this blue light into red and also green respectively, giving you RGB. And what QNET is going to do, QNET stands for Quantum Nano Emitting Diodes. Nano means nanorod LEDs, which is based on gallium nitride, and the short form would be GAN. So if I can actually just write GAN here. So it stands for gallium nitride, which is a type of very stable inorganic semiconductor. Now, normally I would like to make a joke about chemistry here, but I don't think I'll get a reaction, so I only make these jokes periodically. So what Samsung plans to do with QNET technology is to replace these blue OLED with gallium nitride-based nanorod LEDs. And so if we can try and erase these blue OLED stacks, and then replace it with just a very big area. Well, I say big, but it should be microscopic in terms of the real size, you know, but I'm just drawing it as an illustration. So an area of gallium nitride based nanorod LEDs that will emit blue light as well to come through as blue light for the blue subpixel. And then it will also hit the red and green quantum dot converter which will convert it into red light and also green light giving us the true rgb subpixel and again if you ask me why they keep using blue apparently blue is the most excitable energy that can excite these quantum dot converters easily and you know in terms of movies i can think of certain other movies that are pretty excitable in terms of the color as well but the advantage of using these nanorod LEDs is that they are meant to be inorganic, so they will have longer lifetime than blue OLEDs, and they will also be more efficient in terms of the energy conversion, and it can get brighter, and so it should be less susceptible to burn-in. So that is the general concept behind QNET, and I think by going with QD OLED first, Samsung Display actually plans to convert their manufacturing equipment to produce QNET later on down the line. And I need to remind you that currently 
QNET is still only at the R&D phase. It is actually not even ready for pre-production, whereas QD OLED is already ready for pre-production. The prototype is already out. They have been sent to several TV manufacturers for consideration for mass production, let's say next year, 2021. But QNET, quantum nano emitting LED technology, is nowhere near ready. It is still in the R&D phase. But this is the next step up from QD OLED. So by investing so much money in QD OLED equipment, Samsung Display is actually planning to just replace the blue OLED eventually with these blue light emitting nano LEDs to become QNET. So they don't even need to actually purchase new equipment as such. You know, they can use much of the existing QD OLED manufacturing equipment to produce QNET, and this is the genius step from them. But when I went onto the EU IPO website, I surprisingly found that LG Electronics have actually beaten them to the trademark application. Now, I'm not entirely sure whether this trademark will be approved. Now, this is only an application, so it doesn't mean that it has been approved, it has been registered. And I think a lot of lawyers and solicitors have to ponder upon all these trademark applications. But I don't think it is going to be successful in terms of applying for QNET because it is basically a technology. And let's say OLED, I don't think you know any particular company owns the trademark for OLED because it is a display technology. And QNET is meant to be a display technology as well. So I'm not entirely sure whether LG Electronics will be successful. But I'm not entirely sure by applying for this trademark, what are they trying to imply? And if you look on the EU IPO website, they have also applied for QNLED, which stands for Quantum Nano LED, which is essentially just another version of QNET, I think, in terms of the play of words. But I don't know whether LG Electronics or even LG Display have a QNET R&D in place to try and develop this technology or this move to apply for a trademark is just basically trademark squatting or just shithousery on the level of that 17-year-old student who parks his Vauxhall Corsa at the parent and child parking bay, that sort of shithousery. But let me know what you think and I hope you know this video goes some way towards explaining what you should expect from QNET, what QNET is. And I think, you know, it is an exciting technology, but it is still currently in the R&D phase. But know that Samsung Display has the ability to convert its existing QD OLED manufacturing equipment directly to QNET by just replacing the blue OLEDs with gallium nitride-based nanorod LEDs, which is inorganic, more stable, and can produce higher brightness, deliver longer lifetimes than QD OLED. So this is QNET technology in a nutshell. If you'd like to watch some of our videos discussing next-gen display technologies, you know, I've compiled a playlist here if you want to click there, and I'll see you in the next video.